any currency that you want to uh, receive, uh, you want to either add it or some it's already defaulted here for you. So, for example, there are a couple of currencies here that came defaulted when you added, when you downloaded this wallet. So, Bitcoin is there, Ethereum is there, USDT, USDC. Now, I'm just going to give you an example of Bitcoin. If, let's say, you wanted to uh, buy some Bitcoin and uh, you, you would obviously need to have a wallet to store the Bitcoin. So, what you would do is download this, click on Bitcoin. And then you see there's two arrows on the top there. There's one pointing out, which is to, if you had money in here, you could send it to somebody else. And if you want to receive, you click on the down arrow to uh, receive crypto from somebody. So I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to click on receive. And you can see here, the this, this here, which is like a QR code, represents your receiving address. Okay, this is your receiving address. So you can either send someone this code, take a screenshot of it, and send someone this code, or on the address below, which starts with B here, you can cl click on it to copy the address. And some, if anyone has this address, they'll be able to send funds to your address. Right. One little thing I want to share with you is that some, not all wallets, could send to this type of address that starts with B. Bitcoin wallets starts with B, one, and three. Okay, those are the three things it starts with. So most people accept the one that starts with one and three. I'm going to show you how to get that really quickly. Just click back, go to settings on the top right hand side there, click, click on um, legacy address, come back out. And when you click on the receive icon again here, you'll see a little arrow on your right hand side, which basically will give you another option for wallet address. If I click that, you see it starts with one. This is like a universal accepted wallet address. If you click that, you could copy that to anyone else or you could screenshot. Once that person has this address, they will be able to send your crypt, your Bitcoin in this case to the address. So let's say somebody sends you $100, they'll ask you, I need your wallet address or your Bitcoin wallet address. That is what you will provide to them. And once they send it to you, it usually shows up in your wallet within five minutes. Sometimes there's a little delay, but usually within five, five to ten minutes, it's in your wallet address and you have access to it in like about a half an hour. It takes about a half an hour, sometimes an hour to confirm in your wallet. Confirms means that you're able now to take that funds and send it to somebody else if you wanted to. Okay.